Ungano wa azimio umesema kuwa hautaidhinisha baadhi ya mawaziri walioteuliwa na Rais William Ruto hivi majuzi kwa madai kuwa wanadoa la maadili na hivyo kukiuka sura ya sita ya katiba. Kinara wa Waipa Kalonzo Msioka pamoja na wabunge wa muungano huo wamedai kuwa hotuba yake William Ruto wakati wa ufunguzi wa bunge haikuzungumzia masuala muhimu kama kupanda kwa gharama ya maisha na hivyo hawana imani kwamba serikali yake Ruto itasuluhisha tatizo hilo. Daniel Karioki anaarifu zaidi. Siku chache zilizopita Rais William Ruto aliteua mawaziri ishirini na wawili ambao anatarajiwa kupigwa msasa na bunge baadhi ya hao ishirini na wawili muungano wa azimio unasema hawastahili kuwa mawaziri. Moreover, the selection of cabinet secretaries some of whom have amazingly amazingly active criminal cases is unquestionable. What are you asking our parliamentarians to do? Akiandamana na wabunge wa azimio Kinara wa Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka amedai kuwa itakuwa ni kinyume cha sheria kuadhinisha mawaziri wenye dukuduku ya maadili. If I was William Ruto I would withdraw some of this immediately to avoid national shame and even international shame. This was not procedurally done on the basis of competences and personal integrity. We shall direct our MPs to withhold approval of those who do not meet the chapter 6 threshold of our constitution katika kile kinachoonekana kuhakikisha utendakazi wa serikali azimio imesema kuwa hotuba yake William Ruto haikuangazia masuala muhimu kama gharama ya maisha the first campaign promise by the Ruto administration was to the lowering of the cost of living from day one, all costs associated with basic living have gone up the price of unga <laughs> and the cost of electricity i want to warn the people of kenya that you are uh, in for a, a very interesting times ahead you must be ready you must be ready with shock observers akionekana kumlenga rais ruto kwa matamshi kwamba alikuwa upinzani alipokuwa naibu rais naye kinara wa azimio raila odinga alikuwa serikalini kalonzo amesema ruto anafaa kuomba msamaha kwa kuwa kejeli wananchi the sitting deputy president became the candidate of the opposition and the leader of the opposition became the candidate of government that our whole 10 years as deputy president if he wanted us to believe the ridicule he tried to uh, bestow on president huru kenyatta yesterday he could have started by saying i had to resign Matamshi ya Kalonzo yanajiri wakati ambapo muungano wa Kenya kwanza umewataka wanaazimio kuchukua nafasi yao kwenye upinzani. The fact of the matter is it is true and it is a reality that they are on the opposition and they need to understand and even to agree on it to accept it. Je, ni kiashiria kuwa azimio wamechukua rasmi usukani wa upinzani? Daniel Karioki, KTN News. Itifaki kwenye hafla yoyote ya kirais ni swala linalozingatiwa kwa umakini mno kutoka kwa anapoketi rais na naibu wake